Hi everyone, Sif Alchemist here. I would like to thank you for your subscription, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And I hope you enjoy the readings. I hope they resonate with you. Today is a tarot reading. And it's going to be a message about what's coming to you in the next two weeks. What's coming to you? What do you, what do you need to expect? What, what does spirit want you to know? And this is a collective reading, so not everything might resonate. If something does resonate, you can leave it. I offer personal readings, however. You can find them only at cephalchemist.com. Link in the description box below. All right, are you ready? Let's get right to it. I'm gonna use this beautiful tarot deck. What's coming to you in the next two weeks? All right, we have one card that fell quite far away from me. Here it is. I'm going to include it in the reading. Oh, two major arcanas. Upright, Chariot, and Death card combined with the first card that fell off the deck, which was this, which was the Eight of Wands. So Spirit here is saying in the next two weeks, you're going to have um, this card that came here, which is the, the first card that came that represents... Um, a situation in your life where you're going to feel swamped, when you're going to feel this rush of energy, when you're going to feel that everything is happening at the same time, it's positive. I sense that it's positive energy because this energy is making you think about several things. It's making you consider this and that and what do I need to do here? What do I need to do there? This energy, it's like it's like a rising, I sense it as a rising energy, something that's coming and rising that you didn't have before. It's fiery because it's wands, it's positive, but it's and it's holding abundance with it because it's the eight. So this rush of energy that's gonna come, it's powerful, it's gonna come to you and it's gonna make you do many things, and you might even feel confused, but it's good. And as you're rising, this is gonna allow you to transform to your new state it's like the you know the the kundalini serpent in the hindu tradition that rises it rises and then when it hits your uh your crown chakra then it allows you to to have this kind of uh revelation or this epiphany or you feel like you're enlightened or awakened for the first time. So I, I sense it, it's kind of, it's something like that. It's like this rising, swirling energy. So you're going to find yourself in this phase. And as you're rising, bam, this transformation is going to happen. It's almost like a, a spiritual death where you're going to realize an epiphany, a moment. And you're going to start thinking, okay. You're going to realize this is what I was meant to do. This is what I was uh, meant to explore. Now I understand. I have a, a revelation. I know, oh my God, this is not everything I've been doing was maybe not it or it led me here. So now I know what I actually need to do. So you're going to have this beautiful epiphany. It's very positive. And this in its turn is going to lead you to move forward. Because now you know what you're supposed to do. Now you know that this is the path. I need to move forward. I need to go here. You dash. You go in that one path. You have your guardians that are guarding you right here. So nothing can harm you. You're always protected. So in your path, no matter what obstacles come to you, you're going to be guarded. You're going to be protected. 
this is very beautiful energy so that's what's coming in the next two weeks very it's a very intriguing energy it's like it's gonna start with this kind of confusion and this overwhelm and then bam and then the transformation happens and then after the transformation it's just like one path and you're gonna go through it you know it's a it's a very fast energy that's coming very fast Another card fell. It's just it's again representing how how uh, this energy is rushing. And hold on, the card that fell again. So the nine of wands again. Fire. See, as, before I before uh, I said it before I uh, sorry before I saw what what's on the card. I said it's kind of a rushing energy, right? You can even uh, <laughs> rewind and and hear what I said before I picked the card. It's like a rushing energy, and then bam, it's this warrior that's rushing. And even like, um, it says here in the little message, Lord of Flame and Lightning. And flames and lightning, they 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 they're not slow. When the lightning hits, you know how fast it is. So um, it's a, and again, it's the wands, like earlier, the Eight of Wands, and this is the Nine of Wands. So this is gonna come fast. It's gonna happen just so fast that you're that's why i keep saying this overwhelm you know you're gonna have this overwhelm but that's necessary for your transformation we have the six of swords this beautiful transformation is going to lead you to um this success this abundance uh that that you you earned it you earned it it was you've done the hard work this is this is what the six of swords means here look look at the hands holding the blades i mean in real life if you know if you you know what happens when you hold the blades you know how much pain how much blood how much suffering you have to go through here spirit is saying that's what you've been through you've been through that and that's why this transformation is happening because you've done the work you've done what you were supposed to do you were holding the blades in your hands for a long time and now it's time to let them go because you know what you're actually meant to do. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This transformation is going to lead again here. It's another chariot. Earlier we had the chariot. And the Knight of Pentacles is riding also on a chariot. And he's also protected. He's also powerful. So this transformation is going to lead you to success, to abundance, to power, to activating who you truly are, embracing your darkness, and reaching uh, uh, new levels that you haven't reached before. This is beautiful transformation. Get ready for it because it's going to be very fast. It's going to be overwhelming. And again, the Ace of Wands fire energy again so here spirit is just saying get ready for it so the fire is on it's gonna be fast it's gonna be just um something that you the only way you can deal with this is to go through it there's no you can't skip it you can't avoid it you can't say oh maybe i'm gonna take two steps back and contemplate and see if i can do something about it it's gonna be this is gonna be fast and you just have to go through it like this chariot here, like this chariot here, like this warrior here. What's the what's the, the the common point they have is that they're all moving forward through the fire. They're all just just going through. So that's what for you. It's the exact same thing. And one last card. Justice, Major Arcana, upright. justice because it's time for you to you see here the the scale this is it that's it you reach the point where justice is gonna get you what you deserve it's gonna get you the things that belong to you you're gonna finally face justice and justice is gonna reward you for the work you've been doing because you deserve it Okay, amazing reading. Get ready for this thing. It's going to come very fast, rushing, 
fiery energy, powerful energy, but beautiful and very beneficial to your life. All right. Thank you very much. Let me know in the comment section if this reading resonates with you. And I'll see you in the next reading. Thank you for tuning in. Schust, rech, list, einst, us, lechandost, karen, schismol, irrant. Schust!